I'm a dietitian. I'm going to discuss a few things that I see online that are red flags. Up first, food sensitivity tests. These tests are really expensive and the people selling them usually are making money off of it. Unfortunately, these tests are not validated. They are not testing the right thing. The antibodies that they're testing for are actually antibodies that show that you've been recently exposed to the food, not the actual antibodies that we need to be testing, which show that we have an immune response that causes somewhat of an allergic reaction, an actual allergic reaction. So as you can imagine, as a dietitian, I get new clients that come to me saying that they have all of these food restrictions based on an expensive food sensitivity test that they purchased, probably by a provider, some kind of coach. I don't know. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to place blame. But what I'm concerned about as a dietitian is the unnecessary food restriction, the highly restrictive, restrictive diets, and the food fear. Fortunately, dietitians are trained to help patients and clients figure out what they're allergic to versus what they're intolerant to, and there is a difference. Feel free to follow for more, and I will be diving into the difference between food sensitivities, food allergies, and food intolerances.